Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so today we are going to get the siblings bond stage of Extreme Super Battle Road done and out of the way. Uh, this just came out on Global. Um, I was away uh, Sunday to uh, now, basically Tuesday evening, so I'm getting this recorded and putting it straight up on the channel. Um, I don't know if there are going to be any other Android friends. Yeah, there we go. So we can run the uh, T.O.P. androids. They obviously lead siblings bond as one of their 170 leads. But they also give a plus 30% to reps of Universe 7 or joined forces. Um, which gives most of the characters on this team the full 200% lead. It's basically only uh, LR Ulmer Gohan that isn't getting it. So this should be pretty good. Uh, the Tournament of Power androids obviously do give a lot of support. Um, because they are androids, then of course the LR androids will work quite nicely on the team with them as well. Um, like this is going to be a very strong rotation in terms of overall defense. Um, so we should be looking pretty good. Uh, we probably do want to try and get rid of probably Roshi as quickly as possible here. Um, I don't know what kind of damage the T.O.P. androids will do. Although the friend one is Rainbow, so probably going to be able to take him out fairly easily here. Um, so we can just go ahead and do this. I can't imagine this one is going to be super difficult, but like any of these SBR or ESBR no item attempts, a lot of it is just going to come down to the RNG placement of the super attacks. Um, obviously, if we get immediately supered in slot one, um, certain units in the team just aren't going to be able to handle that. We do have uh, units like the androids with a lot of dodge, and of course we have units like the uh, LR or Magohan that can negate uh, key blast super attacks or can has a chance to right and then the uh, tech androids who do negate key blast super attacks they also have the ability if we have three or one enemy depending on how many there's going to be in each of the super battle road fights they do have that ghost usher ability that obviously will be very useful as well um I, in a way it's kind of like we kind of don't want to kill roshi here now right so we actually still have three enemies left um but of course we get the uh, we get the crit with android 17 which means we are not able to get the uh, to get the thing here. So let's do this then. Yeah, full 24 key super for you. And then, yeah, I think we should be looking pretty good. So we can grab these and then I guess we'll just grab these. Float off these guys just because we didn't float off the Tournament of Power androids on the previous turn. Gohan, of course, gets guard on turn one. So, I mean, you can see there, him taking 67k slot 1, like, he's still a unit that's going to be taking damage from uh, big attacks if it's not, like, a key blast super that he then uh, negates. But getting the RNG for his additional is going to be pretty big here as well. This should allow us to hopefully actually finish off Goku or we get the stun, which is also very good. Um, but, yeah, Krillin's already spent all his attacks, so I guess we're all good for the rest of the turn here. Um... I'm pretty sure the tech androids also seal, so if they don't kill, then uh, we're pretty much on easy street for the final turn. We didn't get a lot of orbs of them, so there's the possibility they don't kill. There we go. I really thought they actually had anyway, but... Uh, I mean, I guess we just keep the androids on rotation, right? Because they have support. They have multi-turn support, so I think it's probably best to just keep them here. Um, obviously, it's not going to make a huge difference on this turn, right? Krillin is sealed. Um, still has 226k to the physical androids if they don't dodge, though. So, something we kind of have to uh, be careful of. But yeah, take him out and we can move on to the next one. So, we got Shen. So let's see, how many enemies have we got this time? We do have the tech androids as well. Cool. So, we can get rid of. Oh no, they're on the next rotation. Never mind. Uh, right. Well, we have a lot of defensive support here for Gohan. So, that's good. Um, I think what we will do then is, is TN going to have a key blast super attack on this stage? And we can get the 24 key though, so it really doesn't really matter, right? Because then that makes Go Gohan effective against all types. So if we go ahead and do that, then we can get these guys to attack him just in case. And then hopefully 17. Actually, might as well get 17 to attack uh, Chaozu because he'll tank... Um, Shen quite nicely. So Yeah, 48, that's not too bad. We're on quite low HP, but then that's good for uh, potentially getting some of our active skills. Um, no Goku on the team, obviously, for the Tournament of Power Androids for their part of their passive, but 
damn, no additional from Gohan for the 18 key, or 20 key even. But we do get the additional from the Hidden Potential. Uh, no stun. <laughs> then we get a dodge, okay. T.O.P. Androids. I mean, after they attack, they're obviously pretty good defensively. Um, so it's a shame, like, from when they came out, it's kind of like they came out towards the tail end of, like, the AoE meta. And that's when they started to really lose, like, they had, like, no real value against AoEs, unfortunately. Um, I think if Chaozu supers, we could be in trouble. Do you seal? I forget. No, you just attack lower. Oh, that's so close. Practically one-shot him. All right, well... Having three enemies left here, though, is pretty pretty useful. Because what we can go ahead and do then is we can Ghost Usher away TN's ability, uh, attacks, right? So there's no attacks in slot one. Then we can go ahead and put... See, if I transform 16, unfortunately, he does, uh, he does make you lose HP with his 18 key super. So I think it's probably best if we actually don't do that. Just do this. And then... You can get you, and then you can kill you, and we should be all good. We're on quite low HP though, but that should work out quite nicely. Maybe I should have kept the tech, kept the tech androids on rotation so we could have them earlier in the next fight. But yeah, that definitely their active skill definitely paying dividends right there. Just being able to get rid of the attacks in slot one it means we didn't have to worry about the LR androids having to dodge TN's attack because of course on that low HP. Any failed dodge would have just been GG. Um, and then, yeah, there we go. The Tournament of Power androids get the additional. So that should be enough to finish off TN. And then we can move into the last fight. Now, we are on quite low HP, so got to be careful. I mean, the what rotation have we got? We've got the Go Bros, Gohan, and the... Hmm. Yeah, this could be a bit sketchy. I'm assuming Piccolo's going to have a special beam cannon as his attack here, though. So if I do this, we do get all in the family for Gohan. Yeah, we probably just want to try and kill um, Piccolo as quickly as possible. Especially with the attacks in the final slot. Um, being against the T.O.P. androids. So we'll go ahead and do this. And then, yeah, hopefully we should be okay. So he's going to special beam cannon and Gohan is oh that took so long I really thought that the actual beam like sprite got so close to actually touching him that I really thought that was uh, going to be GG there now unfortunately with this I think the go bros if they get a couple of super attacks off which they should they should be able to tank Gohan's normals because they got type advantage the problem is I'm not sure how well they would tank uh, well, I don't think they would tank a super from him so that is unfortunate. Gohan here getting the additionals and getting the stun on Piccolo is actually really good for us. Although I suppose in a way kind of wasted that we uh, are attacking him at all throughout the rest of the turn. We could, should just be trying to get rid of Gohan now. But as long as Gohan doesn't super, I think we should be okay. But yeah, double digits. And then, I mean, the androids do get a decent amount of damage reduction. Um, on super, so maybe they'll be okay, but man, it's gonna be uh, we're getting real close. <laughs> I mean, didn't get a crit because if we don't take uh, if we don't take out Piccolo, I think we have the tech androids coming up on the next turn, right? If we don't take out Piccolo, we can't use their active skill. Get a crit, no crit, and we do get a normal though, so I think yeah, Piccolo got stunned, so that's basically GG now. Um, because all we have to do, Piccolo is definitely still stunned. So if we just do this and then just target everything on Gohan, there should be no way he uh, no way he lives the turn here. So we do this and then we do this. So yeah, pretty decent, uh, pretty smooth run through here. Definitely got a little bit lucky because we took a big chunk of damage like quite early on. Um, but we got quite lucky with the super attack placements. Like I say, if Gohan had supered at all on that first turn, uh, probably would have just been GG, but now we are uh, most likely going to take him out here with the friend, because it's the friend T.O.P. androids, so they're rainbowed. Um, so, yeah, that's Gohan gone, and then 17 should take out Piccolo here. If he doesn't, then he just gets Ghost Usher next turn, but yeah, there you go. So, siblings bond. It's definitely not the best category in the world, but there's a lot of decent units you can use on there. 
Um, the GoBros definitely will be quite useful. Um, if you don't have the actual uh, TOP Androids, then the GoBros probably is the go-to leader. Tapion Minosha, and Minosha could be okay, um, like with their actual abilities for Super Battle Road. I forget which of their... I'm sure one of their super attacks can stun. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward run through there for another stage of Extreme Super Battle Road completed with no items. Um, first attempt, there we go, get another seven stones. Still on our way to getting this uh, support memory leveled up for the uh, permanent buff to Goku family. But yeah, there you go. Uh, so let me know what team you guys use down below for Super Siblings Bond Extreme Super Battle Road. Whether you used items or not, it's all good. Let me know your team build down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.